Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mike, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to make a website in probably the easiest way I've ever seen. Now, making websites used to be very difficult, right? It used to be HTML. Then it turned into WordPress, which made things a lot easier. Then we got some website builders, and now AI is making it so incredibly easy that absolutely anybody could do it with basically no learning curve at all. And the best thing is, the method I'm gonna show you in this video actually does use WordPress, which is one of the most powerful tools on the internet, powers more than one third of the entire internet, but the AI does all of the work for you. So you get to all the benefits of WordPress with basically none of the learning curve. So there's a lot of possible reasons you'd wanna use this. For one, maybe you wanna make a personal portfolio. That's what I'm gonna do in this video, but many other things could be done. You could make a, a website for a brick and mortar store. Uh, maybe you're just trying to go online. Uh, maybe you want a resume or a CV. Maybe you wanna make a blog. Maybe you wanna make a nonprofit or a fundraiser or, or even like online stores as well. Like there's tons of reasons that you could be using this tool I'll show you in this video. Uh, to make a website. And even learning curve aside, this allows us to make a website so incredibly fast. Like we can legitimately make a professional website in about 15 to 20 minutes. So over the past several years, AI and large language models have really come a long way. And so there are a lot of tools out there that can be used to assist you in making a website. The tool that we're gonna use in this video is called TenWeb. Uh, it does make it very, very easy. They partnered with us in this video. Uh, so if you wanna get started using our affiliate link below, that helps to keep videos like this free. Uh, so you can learn everything for free without having to pay for any type of course or anything like that. So the link that we're gonna start with is santrellmedia.com slash TenWeb. You can type that in, you can copy it from the link in the description uh, below, and that'll bring you to a page that looks something like this. Let's go to generate your website on the top. You should see that button somewhere up there. Sometimes they change the landing page, but, but look for that button. So we have three options right here. I'm going to generate a new website with AI, but if you wanted to, like I said, you could recreate another website using AI right here, or you could auto migrate if you have another website and you actually do wanna move that entire website over to 10 web. So let's start off with the first one right here. I'm just gonna click on proceed. Now it's gonna ask a couple questions. I'm gonna say in the beginning, uh, I wanna create an informational website. Uh, I'm not doing e-commerce. It's like I said, it's going to be a personal portfolio in this example. The business type, let's just say uh, personal, personal profile. Let's see if they have personal profile. Yeah, that, that, that looks close enough. Or maybe I could say photographer. Photography, that's probably more likely what I would be doing right here. Personal portfolio, I'm gonna take some pictures uh, from when I was in Iceland. Maybe I'm a, uh, like a landscape photographer. And I'm gonna say next. Now I can click on enhance with AI and it's gonna kind of generate that, uh, kind of fluff it out a little bit more and there we go. That saves me a lot of effort in doing that. Now it asks, do I own a domain for my website? I currently do not. So I can enter the desired domain that I, I wanna get right here. So we can say Mike O'Brien Photography say next. And now it auto-populated this, the services we offer, landscape photography, uh, maybe we could say um, engagement stock footage. So finalize. Now we have to sign up. You can sign up with Google. That's what I find to be easiest. But for this video, I'm going to sign up using my email address, first name, last name, and my password. Then I can click on sign up. And now while it's working on the left side, it's going to ask us a question. Uh, let's say you figured this out from YouTube. And now we just wait. This is the beauty of having AI make this website. It made our homepage right there. Um, it made a blank website, then the homepage, creating other pages on there, the layout. Let's see what it comes up with. All right, so now I'm gonna say preview and edit. And this, I think, is looking pretty solid. This is like a, a pretty nice layout in the beginning. We got a little parallax going on there. Um, I'm gonna change that photo for a landscape photo, but I really like that parallax effect. Going down, we've got services down here, portfolio. So now a little pop-up. They want us to get 10 Web Pro free for seven days. Uh, I will get that in a second, but we're not gonna get that just yet. I'm gonna close out of this. Just keep looking at this website here. And like I said, a pretty good starting point here that, uh, so photography got cut off. There's a couple things that we wanna edit, right? We see a couple things, but for the most part, it's a really nice starting point. Now we can choose on the right side, some other things. We can choose the color palette. I think this color palette uh, looks pretty solid right now. I, kinda, I definitely want some cooler colors, some blues, like it's Iceland, maybe ocean would be a good one. Let's go with ocean, see how that looks. Uh, I think that that's probably the one for me. Now I'm gonna say save. Now we can get 10 Web Pro. So I'm gonna say try 10 Web Pro for seven days. Like I said, free trial, so we don't have to worry. About, like if we don't like it, we can cancel in five, six, whatever days. And there are a couple different prices here. So one thing to note is that this is the annual pricing here. If you toggle over to monthly, if you plan on paying one month at a time, it will be a little bit more expensive. Actually a lot more, it's about half the price if you go annual. 
So it kind of just makes sense to do annually there. We have e-commerce, we have agency as well. Uh, I'm gonna go with business right now, just a single website here. And I think AI Starter really makes the most sense for what I'm doing here. And by the way, notice that you do get a free custom domain valued up to $30. Um, so uh, that's a really nice positive right there. I'm gonna say try for free, enter my payment information. All right, so now we have a whole bunch of things right here. SSL, I love to see that, that's very, very important. Um, and we do have like 5,000 words in AI Assistant, uh, chat support, website speed booster, stuff like that. Let's say proceed. Now we can choose a store name, the subdomain, and the data center that would be closest to our audience. Say finalize. So now if you click edit website, that'll open a new tab, but I wanna go back to the original tab right here so that we can get a domain. Now, if you're seeing this little site lock thing right here, that's because we don't yet have a domain. So if we go down to domains, uh, we can click add a domain, click the little drop down, and say get a new domain. Remember, we have $30 towards a domain that comes free. Uh, so if we just look up, let's just say I want to have uh, Mike's, Mike's Icelandic, photography or photos, Mike's Icelandic photos. We'll say search, I guarantee that's gonna be available. There we go, and it's free, like I said, because this is only $17 per year, and we have that $30 allowance for this right here. So I'm gonna say get, we can say secure checkout, and that'll automatically attach our domain uh, to the website, it'll point it, and we will be able to have our website visible to anyone else out there. All right, now that we're done with this, let's go back to that second tab, remember where we can edit our website, or you can just click on edit website from the dashboard here. And that'll bring you to a new tab. We'll be ready to get started. If you have any pop-ups, you can just close out of them. That'll bring you to a new tab. You can close out of any pop-ups and it should look something like this. So quick little rundown of what we're dealing with here. Across the top, these are the different devices or the different modes you can have your website in. So you can view it and edit it in desktop mode. You can view it in tablet mode and on mobile as well, as many people will be visiting your website on mobile. So by default, 10Web did a really good job of uh, kind of making this responsive and remo removing some stuff from mobile. You can see uh, the diagonal lines suggest that that is hidden from mobile. Let's go back to desktop and edit on desktop first. So this is using a section layout. You can see the pink block kind of outlines one entire section here. Then we have another section down here. This one is going to be mo mostly for mobile. You can see it's grayed out on, on desktop. Then down here we have another uh, another block that has shown up on desktop. Then we have this block down here, this block. So, so within each section, you have multiple columns. So we've got one column here and one column over here. These are usually outlined in gray. We can see this one right here again has two columns. This one down here has three columns uh, and it goes on like that. All right, so for every element that you want to edit, you can click on that. You can click on the little pencil icon there. And on the left side, you should be able to edit the contents of that block. So right here, we can edit this image. We can replace the image by uploading our own. So I'm gonna upload this photo right here and click on select. There we go, so we have our first photo there. And then we can click on the, the text over here and we can change this. We can change the size of it. it. Looks like it's a little bit too large right now, so we can make this. And then down here, this was already written for us. You can edit anything on the left side if you want to. The little hire me button, you can change how that looks, where it's going to link to as well. Uh, so you could have it linking to, for example, just your email if you wanted to go to an email uh, or to a specific page. Usually the page is probably what most people would end up doing there. Uh, so you can link over to like the contact page, for example, and that's what we're gonna do later in the video. Scrolling down, you can change, let's say we wanna change this right here. So this is interesting, this little parallax here, it's actually an image behind this entire section. So I'm gonna click on the section right here. You can see image pops up, we're gonna choose an image, and I'm gonna use this landscape photo right here. So that looks a lot better anyway. The guy was like kind of half cut off. So this looks good, I think, I would say. Now, there is an overlay on this. If we wanted to change that and make it a little bit more or less opaque, I think that looks pretty good right there. A little brighter, I think that looks good. And then down here we have our services. And again, we can change this photo in the middle um, or any of these, any, any one of these elements, you just click on them and change them individually. Now I'm gonna click on portfolio down here. We can uh, select the images. Let's get rid of all of these and upload our own. Now you could add captions to these. I'm not gonna add captions to all of them, but let's just say like I see mountain. So let's say insert gallery. Now that whole gallery is in here. And if we wanted to change the aspect ratio of anything, we can go to maybe this column right here and we could either kind of drag it over so it's a little bit smaller, a little bit less of a buffer on that side, or you just delete it all together. Then on the bottom, we can edit the footer, click on edit footer. Let's save our changes. Definitely wanna save them. By the way, save is up on the top as well. You can always save up here, save it. Um, but on the footer, we want to change this phone number right here, and we could change the email as well. And over here, these are going to be buttons to our Facebook, our, our, our different socials. Uh, so we can click on any one of those and paste your URL there. So maybe for Twitter, for example, we could say 
And that way, when somebody clicks on that, it'll link over to, our, to my Twitter in particular. So now we can save and publish. I think this looks really good for basically zero effort. Everything's been written for us. Pretty nice website for a basic landing page right there. Now, if you want to add anything or change anything on this website, we can click on the little plus elements button on the top left. That'll bring this up right here. And while we have a bunch of element or elements up top, we can go down to the premium 10 web widgets and we could just bring any of those in. So maybe down here, we wanna have testimonials. We just click on testimonials, that'll be added to the bottom. So if you want any of these, you just click on them, they'll be added to the bottom of the website and you can edit them just as we've been editing everything else. Now, let's talk about going to some of the other pages. If we click on the drop down here, we can go to portfolio, that page, and we can edit our portfolio. So when you're done with this, we have two options. We can click on the top left and either exit to WordPress or exit to 10Web dashboard. So if you exit to the 10Web dashboard, that'll look like this. And this allows you to change a lot on the 10 web side of things, um, which is going to be more along the lines of like, if you want to add a page, if you want to edit your website, you can click on that, of course. Uh, you can set up two-factor authentication, uh, set up your domain, navigation, do a lot of stuff within 10Web. Most of what you're doing is probably going to be within 10Web. If you wanted some really advanced customization, uh, going back to our website, you can click on exit to WordPress. Uh, so let's actually make sure we save this first, save. And now we can exit to WordPress and that'll bring us back to our WordPress dashboard. If it doesn't, just always click on the W on the top left. It'll bring you to the WordPress dashboard. I have full videos on how to use WordPress if you wanna get any other plugins uh, to maybe manage whatever, like security, stuff like that. Anything else you might want, uh, you could get with your different plugins down here. But like I said, really the idea of 10Web is to kind of hide all of this so you don't need to manage everything in WordPress. But if you ever did want to maybe set up a Facebook pixel, for example, this is where you'd go to do that. So let's go back to our 10Web dashboard right here. Now, if you click on main on the left side, this is gonna show you your page speed. So it gives you some insights. Obviously faster page speed is going to be better, uh, not only for the end user, but also for ranking in search. And we can also manage basically all of our WordPress stuff on the 10Web dashboard. So we have our plugins right here. We can manage those if you wanted to get another one or maybe you wanted to remove one because maybe for some reason you just decide that you don't need, uh, I don't know, like the SEO or something. I think you should keep all of these obviously or you could add new plugins up top. Now, if we click on navigation, this allows us to change what is showing up on the top of that header, the navigation that we have there. So remember the main menu showed home, services, portfolio, contact. Uh, we can actually edit that if we click on menu or we click on the name of it right there and we could add other pages on here. They could either be posts, they could be custom links, maybe like your YouTube channel, for example, would be a custom link you would add. Uh, you could add all different things right there. So I'm gonna leave all of those. You could also rearrange them by clicking and dragging one above the other. And of course, make sure you click save. You can manage hosting services and the website booster down here as well. Not a whole lot I need to talk about right there. Uh, the website booster uh, could again, boost your speed and do more like compression and things like that on some images. Right now it is extremely optimized. So I don't think we need to worry about that. And lastly, we have backups on the bottom. I would recommend enabling backups just in case anything happens to your website. If you change anything or update incorrectly by accident, um, this always allows you to roll back to a previous version of your website that was saved as a backup. I do this on all of my websites and I think it's really beneficial. So there you have it. That's how you make a website using 10Web. If you enjoyed the video, consider liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.